Thank you very much. Thank you uh, for the invitation to the IPR help desk colleague. Thanks to uh, my colleague Natalia for the introduction. Um, for the one I know, colleagues in the room, ex-colleagues of DG, DG Grow, but also colleagues working for, uh, for your organization, the IPR help desk. Very happy to meet you. Actually, um, th though I I'm working since now uh, more than uh, three, four years for EASME, executive agency uh, to support SMEs in Europe. I'm working uh, for the, uh, what uh, we call now the EIC SME instrument. So the, the SME instrument that has been started, uh, that started in 2014. And uh, indeed, the idea is to convey to you the best knowledge I have about the EIC SME instrument, this specific program. It means that I don't know everything, but I will try to do my best to try to answer your concerns and your questions. So I also see this uh, presentation as an exchange. Do not hesitate to intervene alongside my presentation or at the end. Uh, indeed, the best is for you to, to take how much you can from this presentation. So. Um, how does that work? I use this, I believe. Yes. Um, how to start? A SME instrument is indeed, a, is indeed a, we can say, a success. One of the most successful uh, program that uh, Horizon 2020 uh, gave birth to, we can say. Uh, the initial intention to target uh, the most innovative SMEs, European SMEs, but not only are European, also associated countries. A support with a granting scheme is obviously, uh, the objective is obviously uh, achieved, actually. Uh, and um, indeed, with this new, uh, the new program coming, the new six years, the new budget, um, European authorities has been, have been deciding to, uh, to support more the, um, the ESM instrument, and to embed the ESM instrument within a new, let's say, uh, a new design, a new larger program, the European Innovation Council. As you may know, uh, it's pretty much uh, with the will of the current commissioner uh, in charge of, uh, of research and innovation, Mr. Moedash, that uh, this uh, EIC uh, arrived. The idea was uh, indeed to, uh, to, to, to put in the same, uh, same, same box all the research and particularly innovation support program uh, together. And uh, we are, in a sense, at the heart of it because we are targeting the, the, the SMEs. Uh, when I say we, it's the, uh, indeed the, uh, the SME instrument X team, but it's also... Um, or current team, but it's also all the other programs linked to, to the SMEs. And here, Enterprise Europe Network plays uh, also a, a key role. Um, so yeah, that's a bit the, um, here, here's the slide. That's a bit the package, how it is uh, currently. Uh, actually, you see that uh, we, <coughs> is there a pointer? Mm, yes. Uh, here we are, the SM instrument, with the three billion over the 1420 period with the two phases. And now we have our sister or brother programs that will be together with us to name them the fast track to innovation, 500 million euro over the last period, and the FET Open on future emerging technologies. So we will be all together, adding it the soft blending meaning all kind of new financial instruments that will be linked to, the, uh, to this whole uh, EIC program. Uh, also, I forgot to ask you, I believe you have a good knowledge already of the EIC or, or the uh, SM instrument. Uh, can, <laughs> can, uh, can you raise your hand if you don't know anything about it? It's also helpful for me. One, some others? Okay, okay, good. Good, so, uh, and uh, another question will be, uh, does any of you uh, already work with, with us, the SME instrument, or some of our companies? If you can raise your hand, particularly the IPR help desk, 
if you've seen, if you supported some of our companies going abroad and uh, requiring the support, your support actually on IPR issues. Uh, another question, it's always interesting also, was it a success or not a success when you supported these companies? Was it a success? Sometimes. Sometimes, <laughs> okay. Total failure, some of them, or no? No, okay, good. Uh, good, okay. okay. Let's, let's progress a little bit. If you have any question, please ask, huh? don't, don't hesitate. Um, basically, as we call it, smart money for European innovators. So here, basically, is uh, the content of the future uh, EICSM instrument program, okay? So, uh, what we can see here is, yeah, the, the money first. Indeed, as you might know, the core of our action was and still is to give money to company, basically free money. Uh, when I say free money, is, uh, we, are, we have two phases in the program, phase one, phase two. So the first phase, six months, uh, uh, 50,000 euro. This is more or less to accompany the companies on six month period to develop a business plan. Classic, huh? Uh, and the phase two, there is more, more meat here. It's for uh, two years projects in general, in any sectors, I didn't say, any sectors. And here you got until uh, 2.5 million euro. And if you are in the healthcare sector, you can rise up to 5 million. Uh, so this is the, the basic. We give you money first, okay, good. Uh, but once you got money, you will have also automatically coaching. Because we, we, with the experience, we learned, at the beginning it was not mandatory to have coaching, but with, with, with the years, talking with our beneficiaries, but also with the EN uh, in charge of uh, giving this coaching, we realized that coaching was, uh, was, I mean, should be mandatory. Because indeed, giving money is not enough. We need also one person or persons to support the companies alongside their... Uh, uh, their, their, their travel or, or their progress within, the, within the, the month and the years. This is the coaching here, okay? Business coaching of up to 12 days for the phase two, actually, okay? Uh, once, one thing that should, has to be said is that you can be a company and uh, having the first, the phase one, and then a few months later, you succeed to have the phase two. This is possible, indeed. It's not all the companies that did it, did it uh, but, but part of them did. Um, coaching, okay, and then there is also the ex what we call the business acceleration services. So, what it is basically, it's again a non a non financial uh, support. Uh, so it's not coaching, but it's all, almost all the rest. So let's say we have a, no, a, a Swedish company willing to do business in China. Uh, they received the grants. They had some coaching. They eventually contacted the IPR desk, a desk for China, good boys or girls. And, uh, and then we also arrive with the acceleration services. So basically, we help them to go to fairs, for example. So uh, we have a dedicated colleague and colleagues that uh, actually, uh, these are the, the leaflets of the different fairs uh, where, we, where we were with the companies. And we, 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 we actually, we, we support them to go to these fairs. Uh, in Europe or outside Europe. But another thing is also very interesting is that uh, we are also helping higher companies, the beneficiaries, to get in contact with large groups. So actually here is the, the, the Nasdaq, for example, or Evonik, uh, these kind of groups, uh, or MAN, actually uh, two, 10 days ago we were actually uh, uh, with the large group MAN, uh, so specialized in uh, trucks and buses in, Mün in München in Germany. And uh, yeah, we go to the, to the uh, HQ of these large groups with a bunch of selected uh, uh, beneficiaries, 20 to 30 uh, SMEs that we select with actually the large group. And we go there in the HQ and we meet, let's say, I think at, at MAN there were 80 people from MAN, any sectors, including some, uh, not the CEO, but uh, quite high profile in the company. So these are the type of, uh, of support services that we are we are, um, we, are, we are giving to our beneficiaries. All this will continue in the new scheme, the SM instrument EIC scheme, this will continue. And here already we are mentioning the, some of our great results. So I didn't say, but we had 3 billion to be invested uh, on the period 1420, 3 billion euro. We currently supported uh, almost 5,000 SMEs. 
uh, phase one and phase two. And actually, we already have uh, 14 companies floating on the stock market, 29 acquisitions, uh, and uh, we succeeded to have 1.3 billion, 1.3 million of uh, private investment uh, uh, added to the companies. So that's where our success is, is lacking, actually. Yeah, whom we are looking for, uh, which type of, com of companies we are targeting. Um, the SME instrument has been, uh, I mean, started in, in 14 with the intention to target uh, almost to the market or already on the market very innovative SMEs in any sectors. Uh, particularly the one uh, having the objective to, to market at European level, but preferably worldwide level. So this kind of super gazelle type of companies. Uh, indeed, um, what we call disruptive, disruptive innovations. So the ones really like cracking a little bit uh, or pretty much cracking the, the current uh, business plans. Uh, we also not only look for, let's say, good products or services, but uh, the human aspect of the companies is crucial. A company is nothing without a good uh, team, good CEO and all this. So I will mention it later, but one of the way how we succeeded to make the, the instrument evolve along the years is that uh, for, for f four years it has been a written uh, written procedures, you needed to, f to, f uh, to fill in uh, your uh, 12 uh, or 15 pages for the phase one and the 30 pages for the phase two. But uh, we realized that also the human contacts and uh, getting to know the, 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 the team uh, during the application was crucial. And uh, indeed, we have been successfully launching some uh, interviews, being part of the evaluation of uh, the applications. Uh, and there we can have an idea, at least, of who is uh, managing these companies. And this is absolutely uh, very interesting to, to have this chance to meet all these applicants uh, first. And uh, from a, a project man management point of view, I think this is a, 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 a great step ahead for us, civil servants of the European Commission, I mean, this is very interesting to be able also to, to have some human aspect within the evaluation. Um, <clears throat> which, which type of companies also? I did not mention this, but one of the singularities of the SME instrument, the AC uh, SME instrument, from the early beginning is that we have been uh, allowing companies to be single applicants. So if you know a bit the research program at European level, you know that there, is, oh, there are always these, generally these consortium, consortia, here, the particularity of the SM instrument is that since 14, actually, since the beginning, is that you can arrive a single company, a single CEO, and make your application. And this was also a success. That's how we also learned, or uh, how we, we, we met, actually, the need of, uh, of all these innovators. Uh, because almost 80% of the applicants are single applicants. Uh, so I mentioned the, the, the clear ambition to scale up all sectors, product services, new business model, uh, demonstrated knowledge of the target uh, market, convincing commercialization plan. Yeah, indeed, in the application form, what is very, or in, in your application, what is very important is that you're able to demonstrate that you know very well your market, the competition, and this is also a crucial aspect within, uh, within the, the, uh, the ESM instrument. Okay. Uh, basically, here this graph intends to uh, to explain you, uh, yeah, the, pro the procedure, uh, proposal submission, remote evaluation, classical one, ranking of proposals, interviews. That's the novelty, and invitation to the grant uh, agreement uh, um, uh, of the of the successful for the successful beneficiaries. Interviews. Here's a slide dedicated to the interviews. How do we? Run them. Uh, what's the intention behind, and uh, what is the uh, what is the uh, what is the outcome? The the good aspect of it: implementation, impact, and excellence. I continue, and here is um, um, this slide is focusing again on the on these acceleration services. So this kind of non-financial uh, uh, support that we give to companies. So I mentioned uh, corporate days, where, go, where we go to all these companies. It has been a huge work indeed 
to be able to contact these large groups. You, you, you can imagine you, you most probably work with these, in, with these groups in your daily life. But the, the challenge is indeed to find the, the right department, the right person that will uh, be able to, uh, to organize all this in the uh, headquarters of these companies. Uh, Manuel Mendoguti has been doing a, a, a very interesting, very important job, my colleague. M mentioning the Iberdrola, Vinci, Unilever, Roche, PNG, ABB, BMW, Airbus. Uh, yeah, great experience to be able to, uh, to go to their, to their place with all her uh, uh, most successful or uh, pr promising companies and to be, uh, to be able to, to organize days there. <coughs> I did not mention that, but we have also, in these uh, business acceleration services, we have also a port dedicated to investment. Because indeed, when you're asking to, the, to our beneficiaries, to these very innovative companies, what is your uh, foremost important uh, needs, and uh, quite often the answer is uh, give me money, more money, investors. Uh, and uh, there again we have been able yeah, to uh, organize this connection with the, uh, with the investor, investor uh, uh, let's say, ecosystem at European but also international level, and the same thing. Uh, we have uh, actually uh, um, a tool that is allowing us uh, actually to, uh, to, be, to be able to, uh, to, to put in contact our companies with these investors. Also, the EIC community. One other aspect of this program is that uh, we have been, uh, as many other programs, I believe, we try to put in contact our beneficiaries, the ones that are receiving our support. Here, the, also the novelty that we have been able to achieve is to have actually, uh, yeah, let's say a, a LinkedIn type uh, uh, connection website which is currently closed to the to the external world, but where we have all our uh, almost uh, 5,000 companies with some uh, more than 200 uh, investors, uh, more than 300 large corporates contacts, and uh, we have this bunch of people exchanging in there. Quite interesting. We are currently link, uh, thinking of. Uh, opening it, part of it, to the external world for people to be able to see business, also business stakeholders to be able to, to, to see what is happening in there. One thing that we have to keep in mind that the, uh, our inspiration for, to develop all, these, uh, to, to all these, uh, these services and let's say the, the vision of it is pretty much coming also from the, the American beer, Small Business Innovation and Research Program. You might know this program that is running in the US since uh, uh, early, the early 80s with a certain success. And basically, yeah, it's part of the models that we are using in terms of, uh, of vision, where we want to go, which type of support we want to offer to our companies, and which kind of design we want for the program. Allez, I continue. The also academy, yeah, we are also offering a couple of, uh, of uh, uh, learning schemes. Uh, again, here, Enterprise Europe Network is, is, is playing a role. Uh, to identify the right experts to offer the, the right, uh, the right uh, uh, um, um, courses or, or lessons to our companies. Here is the IC community I mentioned. I go, I go, I, I pass on it. Here is the so it's uh, this, uh, these data are from uh, December last year. Uh, so you see the, the number of beneficiaries. I said 5,000. I was a bit optimist, but it's pretty much the, what will be uh, uh, at the end of this year, the number of beneficiaries we will have. And on, on these uh, 4,100 beneficiaries, we got almost 1,000 from the phase two, so uh, the, 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 the 2 million euro phase. I did not mention the success rate, but this is the success rate when you are playing to the SM instrument. The 5% is the, for the phase two, and the 8% is if if for the phase one. Uh, just to give you an idea. Uh, this is the geographical repartition of the applicants. You see a little bit. Uh, let's say that Southern Europe is, uh, is, the, is the, the, the port of Europe that received the most funding from the SME instrument. Here uh, are the sectors uh, where our companies are from, actually. So health, energy, and uh, softwares. You have all the whole repetition of the sectors. Uh, regarding the, um, the geogra geographical, actually, origin of the companies, uh, associated countries, we can mention, for example, Armenia, uh, Turkey, uh, Norway, Israel, 
So you have here a certain ID of uh, the non-European uh, EU28 uh, member states. Ukraine also, quite interesting, this latest Serbia. And then the follow-up question is why? Why not only EU companies? Uh -huh. uh, I believe it's a bit like the, uh, all the other programs of uh, H2020, European Programme for Research and Innovation, where we have associated countries. Mm -hmm. I think it's deals passed between uh, EU28 and uh, the non-EU countries. But, uh, the, the message, the final message I, I would like to convey perhaps to the room, um, regarding the, the, evolve, the evolvement of the, ESME, the AIC SME instrument, what's the novelty? Um, is that uh, we will have actually uh, possibilities of receiving uh, in investments uh, investment let me find the, the right perhaps if you may uh, yes here it is so the, the question of the equity that's the novelty for the future the future programming period is that uh, in addition to the grants that we will give to the companies, these companies will also be able to request some equity uh, support, actually. So I think we got uh, 100 million euro dedicated to this equity, and we estimate that we will be able to give something like 10 to 15 million of equity uh, to, to the beneficiaries. It means that it will be first a pilot until 2020, where we will be able to, to give perhaps 10 equities to 10 uh, beneficiaries. This will be a pilot. That's the novelty, actually. Uh, the equity component, the SPV, as we call it, uh, of the new SME instrument. Another fact to be, to be kept in mind is that the phase one, the 50,000 euro, will disappear from September. So we still have three calls with the phase one possibility, but from September, we won't have it anymore, and the equity will arrive. Um, but yeah, that's basically the messages I wanted to convey to you. You had a question coming in about why are you closing the SME instrument if it's one of the most successful in the next... I mean, yeah. Uh, just okay. in a nutshell, can you be yeah, brief? Yeah. Thank we, you. We, we don't really close the SME instrument. We make it uh, evolve uh, with what we consider to be... Uh, the <laughs> the future for, uh, for such a program. So again, the idea will be that we won't continue to give these small grants. The rationale behind it is that because we have many programs at member states and regional level doing pretty much the same. Uh, and we will add, though, this equity support. And this is, a, this is a real novelty, that we have this equity. It will be a pilot first, we will see how it will develop because we also need to have the specific expertise in our team to be able to run this equity and then we will see if we can expand it uh, starting for 2020. So, as well, I'm going to have to close you there, otherwise mm -hmm. these people will never get to eat on time later. So, but please do, he will be, if you want further yes. questions. What I will say is there was one question which is much more fundamental, apart from money, is can they have your presentation? Yes, will please. it be, well, yes. voila. Okay, one, and one, and literally a thing, I think that's important, bearing in mind who the audience is, the topic, um, those who are joining us online, it's... Um, you said, what I think is very interesting is you said that this has evolved. It was always money first. It is money first, but there is this whole end-to-end, -end, A to Z of services that you provide. Would you say that, that SMEs that do get a lot of different support from the EU need to be quite um, persistent in how they go and access this funding and all these different possibilities? It's not... Uh, it's easy for you, but perhaps on the outside, you know, there's an issue about raising awareness, multipliers, people understanding how it works, but there needs to be a certain persistence in getting to the heart of what is needed. Would you say that's fair enough? And that's probably not going to change in the EU in the yes, immediate... Yes, in, yes indeed. Uh, the access to the SME instrument is very competitive. As we said, 5% for the, the phase two, 8% for phase one. Uh, we have stories of companies trying three to four to five times okay have access and they finally have access and usually the average is indeed uh, it's very unique when a company uh, go 
from and, and get from the first time the the, the ground. Usually, y you need to try two or three times before getting the ground. So yes. Okay. So stick at it, basically. Yes, All indeed. Right. Very selective program. So insist, please. Yeah. Can you keep it nice and concise, yeah. please, I, I don't, sir? I don't have the precise so, answer, yeah. but I know that we, we try to, uh, to give some, some IPR support, but in this situation, the best is to send our beneficiaries to you, actually, who are the experts. Just you, Jim, and yeah. no one else. <laughs> That's it. Everyone. Okay, first of all, Thank um, you. have you got one more that can't yeah. wait? Yeah. Coaching on IP to EN members okay. and the other beneficiaries of the EIC. Okay. So for those who missed the beginning, because it suddenly went loud, there will be a collaboration between the IPR and the help desks in the EIC. Last one, is it applicable? I keep saying I'm going to end this and somebody puts a hand up. Yes. You, you have something to say? Uh, just the microphone. Can you just, can you quickly, sorry, you are just the hostess with the most desk. I'm so sorry. Yeah, can you help him and hand it back? You'll give it. Do a Mexican wave to the back. Thank you. Again, brevity, please. No, Thank no, you. Just to complete the yes. Answer, hold it I here. I met one of your colleagues. Uh, hold it right here. Sorry, I yep. met um, one of your colleagues dealing with the coaching phase, and apparently there are um, uh, members of the EEN inside that uh, part that are giving some uh, support in IP. That's okay. Okay, thank you. Okay, so there are, Very good. we love this word, there are synergies Absolutely. across the various instruments and initiatives. There we go, that's the word I've most used in my entire history of working with the Commission. So, can you please give this gentleman a very warm round of applause? And yes, his presentation will be available. Thank you very much.